Hi, I'm Rolf Versluis with ICAP Network Systems. As a company, we specialize in putting together Cisco voice and video solutions and been doing that for years. We have hundreds of customers where we've installed these systems and now they're asking us, with Cisco Call Manager 9 out, why should we look at upgrading this? So in order to answer this question, I've asked our VP of Solution Architecture, Mike Cavanaugh, to come answer all these questions and give you a high-level overview of the reasons for it, and then in a series of other videos to break out the specific reasons and why you want to look at doing them. So Mike is a dual CCIE in voice and route switch, also a Cisco Press author of three books. Uh, if you're interested in Cisco Voice at all, I encourage you to look at his CCNA uh, voice book. So, Mike, we want to give us a, a high-level overview of just some of the reasons that you're going to cover in the upcoming series of videos. Will do. Thank you very much, Rob. All right. I'm going to step out and let Mike take over. Thanks. Thank you, Rob. So, today we're going to start the series off. So, what are we going to talk about in this series? We're going to start with Call Manager 9. What is Call Manager 9? And why do you care about Call Manager 9? We're going to hit some of the licensing models that have changed. So if you've been in the UC world, you understand that pretty much every time Cisco has a revision, they have a license change. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Enterprise License Manager. We're going to talk about the differences between cool licensing and, and uh, User Connect licensing. We're also going to talk about features and functions that are new in Call Manager 9, such as native call queuing. I can start having an ACD within Call Manager and not require a contact center for times where I don't need all of the reporting and extra features and functions that Contact Center gives me. Also going to talk about um, a URI dialing. So what do I mean by that? How do I video dial? How do I dial you by your email address? Telephone numbers as we know them are starting to go away. This is the first step in that path. Other things that we're going to talk about. How do I virtualize my voice? We've always gone a one server, one application. One server, one application. It doesn't scale. How can we scale that? We start virtualizing. We start taking our applications, running them under VMware. And what's driving that? The need to virtualize, end of su support on your existing hardware, end of sale on your licensing. If you're an older version, you may not be able to buy a license for it today. That's going to force me to upgrade. So we're going to talk about some of those things. We're going to talk about video integration. How do I integrate video into Call Manager? Video has been around for a very long time. It has not really taken off because it's been difficult. As we move into URI dialing, we start making ease of video, right? I dial you by your email address. We're going to talk about how all that works and why you care about it. We're going to talk about features and functions outside of Communications Manager. Jabber. What is Jabber? Jabber for your PC, Jabber for your Mac, Jabber for your mobile if you've got an iPad or an iPhone or you're running a Droid. So we'll get into some of those features and functions. Uh, enhancements in our messaging, uh, Unity Connection. What do I get out of that? Things like uh, speech to text. What additional features beyond voicemail can I get? Then we're going to look at contact center. In a contact center world, what can I do? What's new? We're going to talk a little bit about things like chat, which are added into the 9 version. And then we're also going to touch on some of the add-ons. Outside of voicemail, dial tone, and basic applications, what can we do to customize it to your environment? So stay tuned, and we'll have a series of videos describing each one in detail. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.